So just about set. Here's Nico Horner. The wind of the pitch. For Detroit, the shortstop. That misses the zone. And we are underway in game First one of the series. Next offering is in for a strike. That one's in there. And it's one and two. One and two. And a swing and a miss at the slider in the dirt. Sanchez gathers, throws, got him. One away on the strikeout. Well, maybe approaching this at bat with a bit too much determination. Sometimes you just got to let the game come to you. Stepping in, Akil Badu. On the ground to third. Urshela to first in time. He's out. And here comes Carlos Correa. And yeah, the first offering is not close. The pitch. Foul ball. And a 1-1. That one off the bad part of the bat. Just a lazy fly ball. Nice grab on the run. And the inning is over. Bottom of the first, and now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Yoan Moncada. Leading off for the three. And the first pitch oh, misses for ball one. Yoan. Kicks and fires. Hey. And there's the strike. One and one. The pitch. Here we go. And it is two and one. Why to kick the pitch? Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One gone, bottom half of the first. This is Dylan Carlson. The right fielder. Dylan Carlson. Next pitch is popped up. And makes the grab. That's out number two. And now it's Wilmer Flores. Batting third. The designated hitter. Wilmer. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Top of the second. Now here's the Tigers' cleanup hitter, Austin Meadows. First offering, misses the mark. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Trying to count one and one. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah, a little slider action. Next pitch, Ooh, not close, up high. Up the middle, and a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. Now at the plate, Spencer Torkelson. And the pitch. Ground ball right side. And that's a base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Right into the play. And now two and nothing. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. In for a strike, now 3-1. and one. Clearly taking all the way there in that 3-0 count. It was a cookie right down the middle. And a 3-1 on the way. And that'll load the bases. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. And next to hit for Detroit, Jonathan Scope. Good power, not great in the OBP department.
Gordon. Off balance feet, there's one. They get the out, but the run scores on the twin killer. They'll expect a back and forth this entire game because of how good the offenses are. The batter now, Javier Baez. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And here it comes. In the air, out to center, Kepler under it. He makes the grab, and the inning is over. Back at target field, and now the veteran catcher, Gary Sanchez. Leading off for the Twins. First pitch doesn't Kepler. find the zone. Gary. In today's game, you look at exit velocity as a measure of process, and if guys are hitting the ball hard, eventually the results usually follow. Gary Sanchez, he is a guy that hits the ball hard. Next pitch misses outside. Two and one. That one in for a strike, two and two. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Chases that one out of the zone. That's one out at the bottom of the second. The first baseman. And now up Miguel. to hit, Miguel Cabrera. Next pitch downstairs, and that's one ball up. one. Next pitch misses way outside. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2-0 count. He's got to execute here, or this could get ugly. And now two balls and a strike. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. Out to center. Badu drops steps, heads back on him. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Gio Urshela. The third baseman. In there for strike one. 0 and 1. And he'll 1. Ground ball up the middle. The throw to first. Inning over. Top half of the third inning. And now the catcher comes up to him. Eric Haas. The catcher. Eric. Going to one. Oh. And the pitch. You now with the shift on, hits right into it. Whips it across. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Back to the top of the lineup. And next up for the Tigers, Nico Horner. Nico. He's 0 for 1. Horner. And he lays down a bunt. And that's just foul. The next pitch misses. One ball, one strike. Really good check swing right there. One, one. So difficult to hold off on the slider from the same side thrower. Very difficult to pick up the release ball. Two away down. So digging in, Akil Badu. The center field. Akil Badu. And that's in there for strike one. No ball, one strike. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Next offering down low and in the dirt. The pitch. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. I think he was sitting off speed there. Next pitch is in the dirt, and it's three and two. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Around first, heading for two. And he's in with a stand-up double. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Now Correa up to him. And first offering is fouled off. Next offering is in for a strike. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Man, it's second. Swing and a miss. And that is that.
back in Minnesota. Max Kepler at the plate. And a pitch. Leading off for the twin. The Bounce to the right side. Max. Fires to first Kepler. on the run. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Here's the left fielder, Connor Joe. Had an RBI Connor yesterday, Hughes. one of the two Connor. runs they scored in the game. One. That one's in there, 0 and 1. The wind and the pitch. And it's strike two. 0 and 2. One down, base is empty. Pitch misses, oh. and a count 1 and 2. 1 2. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Lined into right. Dives, bounce off his glove. Base hit. Nick Gordon, the next twin up to him. That's a laser base hit. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Now Back to the leadoff the spot baseman. in the Twins lineup. Here's the second baseman, Yoan Moncada. In there, and it's 0-1. Oh, and 2 now. And that That's just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And now the lefty. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. So the tying run at second. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. Two out. So first and second with two outs. And next for Minnesota, Dylan Carlson. He popped out his first time. First pitch, and he just misses. Kicks and deals. Falling behind two and one. Two outs. Ground ball left side, and it's just foul. That is close. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball. Next offering is foul back. At the belt and fires. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. The pitch. Pulls that one foul. Joe over at second. Gordon at first. Two out of the inning. off the middle. That's a base hit. Coming home. He'll score in the time. It's 1-1. Well, that was an important at-bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do now too that. much with the pitch. Just That's shot it through the infield. Wilmer. Next to hit, Wilmer Flores. Wilmer. Tied up here in the early going. Next one misses, and now 2-0. Two, oh. two balls, no strike. To the right side. Oh, nice stop at first, and they get the out. As we go to the top of the fourth, now the left fielder, Austin Meadows. The left fielder. That's in there. Oh one. Next pitch is outside. One and one. Left-hand batter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. Joe pulls it down. And there's one away. 
Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yep, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets out. Torkelson stands in now and watches strike one. Check swing, but he went too far. 0-2. Oh swung on, belted. Way back there. And that is gone. A solo shot. His 17th of the year. It's 2-1. One. one out, base is empty. And now it's going to be Riley Green. He reached out a walk his first time. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One ball, no strike. Lifted in the air, right field. Carlson has a beat on it. Makes the catch. Out number two. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. And now it's Jonathan Scope. Jonathan in there for strike one. Right Next two. offering is in for a strike. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. Gathers and throws to first. Scope gone to the play. And that'll do it. Back here at the ballpark, here's some real power at the plate. Gary Sanchez. First offering, misses the ball. And a pitch. Just missed. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning, through a lot of pitches. Swing and a miss, and the count's even at two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. On the ground, right side. That's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. That ball was drilled, 106 off the bat, and that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics. Cabrera in the box now, takes strike one. And he deals. A little out front there as he swings through it. The pitch. Not close with that one. Now one and two. Nobody out. Runner at first. Slice the other way and foul. One, two now. Got him. And that's the first out. Gio Urshela, the next twin up to him. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. Pitch misses inside. 1-0. and oh. And here it comes. And that one gets down. Fair ball. And that's going to get into the corner. Meadows fires to third. The tag. Now batting Max Kepler. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. Kepler. Check swing. Tried to hold up. Now an appeal to third. And he went around. Rule the swing. Kicks and fires. He swings and fouls one off. And that one hit to first. Torkelson takes it to the bag, and that's the inning. We go to the top of the fifth. Now it's Javier Baez. Leading off for the Tigers. The wind of the pitch. The Javier. And that one off the outside edge. The wind of the pitch. 
And it is two and one. And the righty deals. And a foul ball. Righty delivers. That one fouled off. Next nope. pitch is outside. Full count. And the right hander deals. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. And he reluctantly takes his walk. And now Eric Hobbs grounded out his first time. Eric. First off, bringing it just misses. Fires. On at first. Nobody out. Next one is off the plate. Two balls, no strikes. Fouled off. He was late. Runner, runner, runner. Baez runs. Pitch misses inside. Throw to second. Great jump. The pitch. 3 2 now. We got a full count. Right hander kicks deals. There's a swing and a drive. That one back there. And it hits the fence. Throws to second. Not going to get him. He's in there. The run comes in from second. It's 3 1. Picks himself up at RBI. Yeah. Textbook back control right there. Got a pitch on the outside. Saw it deep into the zone and just barreled it up. Went the other way for the knock. Now it's going to be Nico Horner. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Kicks and deals. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right, and that will get out of play. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. you got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Next offering is down low. No outs. Runner on second. Rolled over to third. Got him on the off-balance throw. One away here in the fifth. Next to hit, Akil Badu. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Akil Badu. First pitch, and he just misses. 1-0. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. The 1-1 one -one is upstairs. 2-1. Runner leads away at second. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. And he makes the catch. Two down. Here's Carlos Correa. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. That one's in there, 0-1. And a pitch. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Haas headed for the plate. He'll score easily. It's 4-1. Well done. Drives in the run. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game. But if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find Austin. some holes. Here is Austin Meadows. And that's in there for strike one. Going one. And he grounds one back up the middle, and that one finds its way through. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Jarrell Cotton gets the call from the pen. It's his job to keep his team in the game. At this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And here's the first baseman, Spencer Torkelson. Oh, 
Oh, now this one gets away at the plate. No advance. Good job behind the dish. That one is absolutely belted. Hits the fence. The run comes in to score from second. It's 5-1. It's a double. Third hit of the night for him. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. And a 1-0. Out of line, out towards center. And that's going to be a double, and it'll score two. Now two runs score, and it's now a six-run lead. Green into second, and he's got a double. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. That was one of those swings that feels like you're swinging an aluminum bat. It jumped off so hard, squared it up, and it went screaming at 108 miles per hour. Sko in the box again, takes a strike. Next pitch misses, and it's a ball to strike. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. One. Man on second, two down. Two and one. And a swing and a line drive at a right field, and there's a hit. Throw is offline, and he scores. It's 8-1. They are really feeding off each other. That's five hits in a row. Not nice bad. job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Righty to the plate. And it's fouled away. Next pitch is outside. Check swing. Now to look down to first. Ring him up, says Clyde Washington. That's a strikeout. And welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the left Lee fielder, Gunn. Connor Joe. Joe. That Gunn. one finds the Gunn. zone. Strike Gunn. one. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some that's guys. It, I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. The one, two. And a ball oh. evens the count the pitch chop to the left side throw on to Torkelson and that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth Nick Gordon the next twin up to hit one for one with a single so far first pitch not close Next offering is in the dirt. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. The why to kick the pitch. On the ground to short. Corner gloves it. Home half of the fifth inning moving along. Two quick outs. So up next for Minnesota, Yoan Moncada. A switch hitter batting right. First pitch is in the dirt. Two down, nobody on. Struggled a little bit in this one. A couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2 0. And a four pitch walk. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Carlson in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. 
the pitch. Out front, rip foul. Here's the 0 2. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Top six. Here's the power hitting catcher, Eric Haas. Leading off of the club, the catcher, number 13. And strike one Eric. to the catcher. Haas. And a pitch. Good eye right there. Good eye in that spot. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Fouls one away and now three and two. The pitch. And it's ball four. He missed down low. And up next for Detroit, Leading Nico the Horner. Court. The shortstop, Nico Horner. And first offering is fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Foul ball there. Haas gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Hit on the ground might be two. Off balance feet, there's one. Throw to first, safe. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. A throw over to first. Corner back in standing. Another throw over. And he's back in that time as well. Now, Akil Badu swings through that ball, one, 0-1. Oh and, and that's pitches downstairs. This is one of those situations one, one. defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. Pickoff throw, corner gets back easily. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And two away now. The batter. And the now first. here is Carlos Correa. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. In there for strike one. Back up the middle and a base hit. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the now big back. part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Now it's Austin Meadows. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Next offering way off the plate. Two zero. And there's a the ball. Three and oh. And the pitch. Good plate That's appearance there. Able to take the walk. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk. And the guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. And now Spencer Torkelson. First offering misses badly for ball one. The 1 0. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. And it hits the fence. One run is in. The relay. And he's out trying for two. That ends the inning, but two runs do score. 
Bottom of the six. And here is Wilmer Flores. Leading off for the twin. There's the strike. You're clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. And he deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, Gary. not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Sanchez. Gary Sanchez now. Yo, one. And there's a foul ball. And a pitch. And down on strikes he goes. Two away. And now for the Twins, Miguel Cabrera. Miguel. And the first right offering is not close. The wind and the pitch. Hey, and it's even up. And here it comes. Line drive. And there's a hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Gio Urshela to the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Cabrera leads off first with two down to the inning. On a line, base hit. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two-out double, second and third now. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Got a good pitch to drive, stayed short with his bat path to the ball and Up caught it out front, Minnesota. and he stayed long in his follow-through. That's how you split the gap, and that's pretty much a double every time. Two on, two outs. Fought off foul. Two outs, two in scoring position. Left-hand hitter waits. And now the that count is the even. 2-2. Two, two. Up the middle. Base hit. One run in already. Badu fires it to the plate. He beats it safe. And they're on the board, but lots of ground to make up. Gets the job done as he brings home a pair. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Now here is Connor Joe in the air center field. Badu makes the catch and that'll do it. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Cody Stashak. Now Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. Cody Stashak. Back at target field, here's Riley Green. Leading off for the Tigers. The pitch. Number 31. That one misses. Ball one. 1-0. At the belt and fires. Check swing. Went around. And a count even one and one. Swing and a miss. And that's strike two. The pitch. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. And next is the designated hitter, Jonathan Scope. For the fourth Jonathan time tonight. Good. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And the 1-0. -oh. Two balls, no strikes. Oh. 
That one missing inside. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if he'll walk you. 3-0 down. There's the strike. Right-handed reliever. In for a strike. Three balls, two strikes. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you'd love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Now Javier Baez the up baby. now for the Tigers. Javier. A strikeout oh, and a walk. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Only two now. Next offering misses down and away. The one two. And a swing and a miss. That's his second strikeout. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now for the Twins, Nick Gordon. Leading off for the Twins. That one misses shortstop. in the dirt. Nick Gordon. Kicks and fires. And it's one and one. Big at bat right here. He did the team thing. Took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work. Shorten up that swing a little bit. Do whatever it takes to get on base. Next one in the dirt. The wind of the pitch. That's the ball. Tough take right there. He swings at that more often than not. This to third. Correa over to first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. And now Yohan Moncada. One and, oh. and now it's even up. Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific fight at the end. And base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really the good ball. about what you the did right at the field. plate. You trusted your Get hands, away. you let the ball travel, Go and you took set. the barrel straight to it. That's your great work right please. there. Pitching change now, here, Matt Manning. And a healthy Number sized 25. lead for him to go to work Matt. with. Manning. Dylan Carlson, the next twin up to him. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And the right-hander deals, and it's even up. One and one. Righty delivers. That's the ball. Moncada over at first with one away. Swings and misses. And now two and two. Stays alive. Two two down. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. That's back. Leaps at the wall, but can't haul it in. And it hits the top of the wall. Torkelson with a relay throw. Not in time. He's safe at the plate. And they're on the board, but lots of ground to make up. And now the Minnesota designated hitter, Wilmer now Flores. The designated hitter. Next Wilmer. offering is down low. And it's right. one to know. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And a count one and one. And a pitch. And a count one and two. Runner on at third. One gone. This one smoked out to left. He's got it. Runner tagging from third. Play at the plate, not in time, he's safe. 
It's now 10 to 5. Here's Gary Sanchez now. Oh, One for three. The catcher. Gary. Next pitch oh, downstairs. Ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. 1-1 one, one now. And another ball. Two outs. That one fouled off. Two and two. And the righty deals. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The next pitch misses. And it's three and two. Right-hander kicks deals. That one ripped. That's back there. And it's gone. Gary Sanchez hits one out. His 18th home run of the season, and they inch closer. It's 10-6. At the play, Miguel Cabrera. Next offering is down low, and that's ball one. Here's a strike. The pitch. Swings through that. Definitely not going to make his highlight tape. The wind of the pitch. And it's filled up. Count is full. The three two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough of bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full yeah. scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Urshela in the box now. No balls and a strike. The pitch. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Welcome back. Here's the speedy catcher, Eric Haas. Leading off for the Tigers. The catcher, number 13. Stacia. Eric. Back to work. Oh. There's the strike. The 0 1. Out to short. Gord handles the chance. Whips it to first. Lead off man is out here in the eighth. Back to the top of the Detroit order. And here's the Tiger leadoff man, Nico Horner. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. Kicks and deals. So two balls and no strikes. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Next offering misses, and it's 3-0. And the pitch. That just missed. He walked him on four pitches. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. And now, Akil Badu. That one's in there, 0 1. Corner at first, one gone. And it's 1 and 1. And a pitch. There's the strike up high. And a count. One and two. Right into the play. And the one two misses to even the count. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Joe moving back for this one. And puts the squeeze on that. And there's two down. And at first, down the third baseman, Carlos Correa. The third baseman, Carlos. First offering, misses the mark. Quick. 
Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. In the air to left center. Joe makes the catch, and that'll do it. So the Tigers get a new arm from the pen, Drew Smiley. And he'll work on holding this lead. Drew Smiley. Back in Minnesota, bottom of the eighth. Here's the center fielder, Max Kepler. Yeah. Strike. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. But why to kick the pitch? Ball one there. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. Gets him. One away on a drop third strike. Just not a good pitch to swing at. One reason he's an everyday player is he usually lays off of that jump. And here is Connor Joe. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Snags it for the second out. Nick Gordon, the next to hit. The batter, number one. Good stop. Nick. And the first oh, pitch misses right. in the dirt. The lefty to one off. And that one wrapped foul. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And now two and one. Here comes the pitch. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Now back. Now it's the second baseman, Yoan Moncada. And he's already singled in this game. First pitch just misses. Out to short, over to Baez, and that is the inning. We're back, it's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Dellin Batances. He last pitched two days ago. Dellin Batances. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now here's the Tigers cleanup hitter, Austin Meadows. The left fielder, Austin. And he deals. Meadows. And the pitch is in for a strike. Strike one. That one to first. Cabrera picks it up. The flip to the pitcher covering. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. And the batter now, Spencer Torkelson. First offering, and it just misses. A 1 0. And a foul ball. Next offering upstairs. The pitch. Chopper to second. Fires over to first. Two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. And next to hit for Detroit, Riley Green. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Out number three.
and welcome back. So bottom of the nine, and now for the Twins, Dylan Carlson. For the Twins, the right fielder. There's a strike. Carlson. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Next pitch inside. It's a ball and two strikes. And here it comes. And fouled off. The wind in the pitch. Swing and a pop up. Baez racing over to make the catch. Wilmer Flores, the next twin up to hit. Wilmer. First pitch, not close. And the 1-0. Slapped foul. The pitch. So, a foul ball makes it 1-2. and two. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the at-bat alive. Next offering is downstairs. The wind of the pitch. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Here in the bottom of the ninth, one out. Gary Sanchez, the next twin up to him. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And now the lefty. And that one fouled off. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. So now one and two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And they're down to their last out. And at first, and now the first baseman, Miguel Cabrera. And that's in there for strike one. Just one out away, trying to close it out. Slides, but he can't come up with it. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. New pitcher for the Tigers, Gregory Soto. Hasn't pitched in a while. He's had the last five days off. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Tigers. Number 65, Gregory Soto. So it's their last chance in this one. Here's the third baseman, Gio Urshela. On the ground at first. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. First for the victorious Tigers. Ten runs, 12 hits, no errors on base. Time of the ball game, four hours and three minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.